sushi today. I'm excited. Excited. So am I. We're live. 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 It's a beautiful day. All right. So Look, welcome Vanessa's to our. On. Hey, Vanessa, happy Sunday, Mama, Vanessa. Happy, happy Sunday. Follow the link. I'm moving what I'm on YouTube. So we're going to start off with our strawberry nigori sake. So if you don't want to miss the uh, strawberry nigori sake, that's going to be our signature drink today, this afternoon. So again, go on our YouTube channel. The link is below. Happy Sunday. About Welcome to Keto, Keto Live. Keto Live. Keto, Keto Cooking with Love. Ciao. I'm here with the love of my life, my master sous chef. Jeanette, and welcome to our live cooking weekly show. How's everyone doing? We're so excited to get rolling with you guys today. Let me cut the music, baby, because we'll be jamming all day. That's true. So say hello. Say hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our keto cooking with love live show today. Um, if you're joining us, happy fantabulous Sunday. Uh, we are at Easter Standard Time. If you're in Central Time. Right or, or mountains. West Coast. Yes, yes. It might be a little bit earlier. However, that being said, because we start off every show with our cocktail, and if you don't drink alcohol, by all means, that's perfectly fine as well. I gotta get the ice. Many of our viewers and friends, please and thank you. Yes. The martini shaker. Mm. Mm. And the, and uh, many of our viewers and friends don't consume alcohol. Um, but we start off every, all of our episodes with a, with a. Um, a, uh, a, a alcoholic libation and today since we're having the ultimate keto sushi party one of my favorite things to drink which i don't drink a lot anymore uh especially because i don't drink much alcohol i actually <laughs> mostly drink on sundays when we have our show um but also um something i don't drink a lot anymore because i do keto is sake right um it has a little bit of carbs it's uh it's made from rice and um, even though the, the recipe, which if you're seeing on this on YouTube, obviously the recipe is down below. Uh, if you've seen this on YouTube, the recipe is down below for this nigori sake. So they, they do sell strawberry nigori. That's not what we're using, not the glass, not yet. Huh? Okay, so yes. I'll put them back yes. when you're ready, let me know. <laughs> well, they do sell strawberry negroni, uh, nigori, which is a, a, a rice sake. And the cool thing about it, and the little jigger to mix the alcohol right there, baby. Mix what? The measuring this thingy. One? Yeah, that and the little measuring thing. The fun. Yeah. Like, thank you. That's the beauty of being live. You think you have everything, but you but you don't, you know? Uh, we've been very busy, and that's why we love doing our show live, because life catches up to you that way. Thank you. It's not perfect. Yeah. And I have to kiss it, because it's, 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 it's love. It's just you like know? when you're in the kitchen. You don't have always everything, that's like, right then and ready you have yeah. to you have to hustle you have to bustle right. so we're not using a strawberry nigori we're using a, a regular nigori but we're going to infuse it with some fresh strawberry puree that we made and again the recipe is down below for this drink so let me show you what we're using today we're going to fortify nigori is a sake it's not as strong as a spirit so i'm going to start with my it. Little, i know my little your coffee cheat thing yeah, <laughs> is that coffee. Just, that, your sunday coffee <laughs> that's a good way i to also play. have my sunday, my sunday coffee, coffee. coffee somewhere my sunday coffee looks like this okay mm -hmm. it might be water it might be tequila the hood will never know yeah salsa <laughs> so so yeah. who's joining us on YouTube? Welcome to our keto cooking with love. That's right. And so sake is a is a rice uh, spirit. It's a rice uh, um, kind of a uh, uh, wine that they make in Japan. Oh, I like the name. And it's usually Snowmaiden. it's usually clear because they filter it. I like nigori because it's unfiltered, so it has a little viscosity, a little mild grittiness because it's not filtered. All right. So also, my love made this fabulous strawberry puree. We bought fresh strawberries. fresh strawberries, and you have to shop around because I guess strawberries are coming into season very soon. So he asked me, baby. He came into the car all excited, baby. Do you know how much did I get these strawberries for? I got like how many packs? It for? was it was it was four packs. So, four, yeah, yeah four containers, containers. Four containers like this. And I said, thing. how much you guess I, I got these? I four. said one eighty nine. <laughs> 75, 75 cents, cents. Each. it was amazing i couldn't believe it and they're so big and plump and bright and juicy yeah. right testify my love you like that i bet mm. they are juicy mm. you pick them right mm. pick them right <laughs> i'll tell you what that tastes like right now then so we're gonna have a little bit of tequila a little bit of um sake, sake. we have our strawberry puree I also have some fresh lemon juice that my Wonder Woman of squeezed. Of course, of course. And then I have this here, Orgiat, which is like this almond, <clears throat> sweetened almond milk syrup. 
Um, you can make your own almond milk by toasting some slivered almonds, grinding them in a, in a in a blender, adding some warm, not hot, adding some warm water, and letting that steep pretty much overnight, and straining that through a cheesecloth and a strainer, and make your own almond milk. Or you can just go to the store, right, <laughs> and buy unsweetened plain almond milk. Make sure it's not vanilla. Make sure it's not sweet, and make sure it's a hundred percent unsweetened plain almond milk. And then we heated that up. Usually we've been using a lot of Swerve as our preferred keto sweetener. Today we're using allulose. And there's many kinds of allulose today. We got this one, Fit Lane Nutrition Allulose. And, you know, it's pretty tasty. No carbs. So that um, one actually is much uh, a little healthier, bit better, a little better healthier, than yeah, the Swerve. Uh, because there might be some, yeah. some people argue there's some, um, you know, stuff in Swerve, even though it is a keto and low carb. So we're using allulose, and that's definitely low uh you know low carb and, and and healthy for you so these are the five ingredients that we have and we're, we're going to get to mixing baby how does that sound i said let's get ready all right so we're going to make it into a, a martini if you will all right i have my jigga what jigga who jigga who <laughs> you're from brooklyn right i'm from Sexy. brooklyn so we got we got the recipes down below. You're just joining us. Happy Sunday. Let's see if Happy anyone Sunday. is on. Yes, yes. Come on. Got a little... And uh, if you are enjoying our keto show every Sunday and you join us faithfully every Sunday, we do. And if you're just a first time comer, welcome. Welcome to our show about that. Um, we're about that keto life. And our show is Keto Cooking with Love. Please hit that like button, share. And hit the notification button. That way you are uh, notified every time we come on. That's okay. right. And we, we have content that we put out throughout the week. Um, we have some new content. We just started some that, new content, yes. It's going to be going out shortly. We have, uh, we're, we're going to have to let you know too much, but we've got some restaurant reviews going on, just showing you how to really, really fully live this life. I'm adding some of that fresh strawberry puree that my queen made. Oh, this, this is going to be good. <laughs> and... You know, like she said, if you are into a low carb lifestyle, looking for a healthier alternative uh, to, to either weight loss or any type of chronic conditions yes. through your diet, <clears throat> absolutely. Give this video a like, share it in, com in community, and subscribe down below. Subscribe. And give us a comment, give us a thumbs up, uh, and let us know what you would like to see us make. We're here for you. Yeah, we'll take the thumbs up. We'll even take the thumbs down. <laughs> exactly. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, enjoy. whatever, whatever. Uh, you have feedback. Whatever we appreciate you. your feedback. Whatever You're looking for motivation. This is a great platform to um, find motivation or in get inspired and make these dishes that we do create every Sunday for you guys. We'd be brain brainstorming during the week. And on top of that, talking about motivation, we are starting um, uh, reading certain um, personal development books That's that right. can also just share help. with people. So yes. if you have something that you do in your personal development, share with us. Yes. Because this is not about just eating like uh, health and nutrition. It's, it's a, a healthy mindset. lifestyle. It's yes. a lifestyle. And everything, it, it goes together. That you, you feed know? your body mm -hmm. and your mind is part of your That's lifestyle. Right. So we like to share with you. And uh, we'd love to, for you guys to share with us as well. Now right. we take those martini glasses. <laughs> oh all right. I'm going to give these a shake. All right. So... <laughs> All right. Ooh, that looks good. So again, we have our tequila, our sake, our nigori, which is an unfiltered sake, some fresh strawberry puree that my love just made this morning, and, and some fresh squeezed lime juice that she squeezed, and then a keto orgia. So it's almond milk with some allulose. The recipe is down below. And then we heated that up to dissolve it and simmer it down a little bit. <clears throat> And then we added uh, some almond extract and some orange uh, oh my God, flour can, the, the, extract. The plate, so some orange flour water. Is there vanilla now, in there? If you can't get orange flour water, is there what? Vanilla? There's almonds. Almond. I smell like a vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. So if you can't get um, uh, orange flour water, what you can do, and this is what I did because I actually couldn't get it. I've used it before, but I couldn't get it today. I just peeled some orange uh, peel from a fresh orange using my vegetable peeler I, and I added that to the almond milk and the allulose or whatever keto friendly sweetener you're using when I heated that up to extract that orange essence. Okay. 
Um, so we have um, Overton says, happy Sunday. Hey, happy, happy Sunday. Sunday. Back to you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this beautiful Sunday raining, but it's a beautiful day because, you know, everything blooms when it rains, too. Uh, happy Sunday, y'all. Sushi, yum on the drink. Daisy Roman. Daisy Roman. Hey, how you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. And thank you for joining us, Daisy. Thank you. All right. Make sure I get every little drop of that. <laughs> so... There's a little bit of the uh, the seeds from the strawberry in there because it's a fresh strawberry puree. So I want to make sure I'm getting everything on the strainer. All right, wonderful. Now, happy Sunday, and thank you for joining us. We appreciate that taking a few time, a few minutes of your day That's to come right. on on. You're now in the embassy of Keto Cooking with Love. Shake it, shake it. I love it. Yes. All right, we got it all. You like, like I said, every drop of it. All right, so let me just toss this out. Wait, there's one last touch. Okay, because like I said, today's our is our Japanese inspired party. Even though we have some tequila in here, that's okay. But the last touch here, because we like to spice things up, is that I have this togarashi. All right. If you don't know what togarashi is, it's basically a Japanese. Did we take? A uh, I'm about to. Thank you, baby. <laughs> it's a little Japanese uh, chili powder. All right. And it, nothing it has, will come it out if you don't a, take that. It has off. a really, really nice rounded chili, almost floral, almost citrusy <clears throat> flavor. It's a. Uh, it's something that is very unique. Smell that. Look at that. Oh yeah. It's a whole. Japanese chili ground up, so you have the seeds it in there. It kind of like opens your, the your a little bit. It, just it, a tad. It's not Ooh. just powder. Look at that. Beautiful. You have mm -hmm. the uh, the, the seeds, seeds, everything seeds. in there. Yeah. Uh, Daisy, the drink is called strawberry nogori sake. Exactly. So they do sell nogori sake, which are already infused with strawberry. That's not what we're using. We're using just a regular nogori sake, which is an unfiltered sake. That's what nogori sake is. And then we added the strawberry puree, our almond orgia yeah. syrup that we made, a little bit of fresh lemon juice, and, and some tequila. <laughs> and I'm going to use this right here just to garnish and make a little line of our togarashi spice along, along the edge of our drink. Oh, beautiful. I mean, the viewers are not going to be able to see that. Um, well, they'll see the reaction in your face. Yeah. <laughs> when you taste it, all right. But there so there's a, line just a nice little drink. beautiful line mm -hmm. coming down the drink. And um, cheers, my love. What's that called again? Togarashi. togarashi. It's a Japanese so chili, a line chili powder. Of togarashi on. You can also drink. use a lime uh, to to juice to wet your rim and make a rim on the glass as well. Wet and wet. Let's go. Cheers. So Cheers, cheers. guys, and thank you for joining us again. The drink is called a strawberry nagori sake. Mm. Freshly made. Oh wow. I'm gonna mm. try to get that. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Woo. The best and worst part about this is that you can't taste very any good. alcohol. So, so that's, true. That's very but it, dangerous. But that's dangerous because it's that's very true. dangerous. And I think the spices, the strawberry, the, the strawberry, fresh strawberry puree, <laughs> encompasses your palate. Sorry, guys, the spices are getting to me right now, and that I can feel sneeze. like I need to sneeze. <laughs> that's good. Oh, it just came upon me, and I'm like, oops. <laughs> Listen, if you're watching this on replay, if you're not seeing us make this live. <laughs> Comment below. Wow. And tell us what you think of this drink. Wow. Smash the like button and share this. Tell a friend. Because that right there. That is delicious. That's going to get this spring and summer season started. Yeah. Really, you know, really good. Do that. That's a nice cocktail. All right. So that's spring. the togarashi chili powder. It looks like it has like black pepper and, and little, it's, it's, you know, chili uh, seeds. Mm. Very good. This is dangerously Very good, good well, we, my yeah. love. This is dangerously good. We gotta take it easy good. because we got plans today. At least I do. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Now let's 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 move on. So that was our drink. I'm gonna help you with yours. No. 
<laughs> but today, like we said, we're having the ultimate keto sushi party. Yeah. So a lot of people say to us when they, you know, when they ask us about how we enjoy and live a keto lifestyle. Oh, but you know, I love sushi or I love rice. So I'm Dominican, you're Puerto Rican. Like Correct. I know you perhaps don't eat a lot of rice. I love, 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 love yeah. rice. No. And uh, yeah. it, it was not that hard to give up. We obviously, as you, if you're watching our channel, if you know anything about the keto lifestyle, oftentimes we substitute cauliflower for rice, which most of the time works better. In doing sushi, it's a little tricky because one of the things about rice is that you have um, gluten so uh, in it the all. rice. Exactly. Yeah. You have no, not gluten. I'm sorry. I, I digress. You have starch. Starch. Okay. You have starch in rice. Um, and so that creates that stickiness. Stickiness. All right. Mm -hmm. And so in, in cauliflower, you don't have that. And so you have to find something that creates a vehicle, a conduit to that. Mm. And so we're going to show you how to how we do that as well. But that was pretty I have good. your hair it's here it's somewhere. I feel it. It's so fresh. I'm I feel sorry. it. I have your hair here somewhere. I feel well, we don't it. want that. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so you're always all over. <laughs> Excuse my piano. That's why it's good cooking with love. So, but before we get into the sushi and everything, oh look, I have oh, this fresh Oh wow, it's, it's Palm Sunday. Yeah, happy Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. Pammy, welcome. It's Pammy. Hi, Pammy. Welcome Sunday. Uh, Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday, Pammy. Next Sunday is Easter. Mm -hmm. mm. That's going to be a really good episode. You want to be with us next year. I know a lot of people. Thank you for joining out. us today, Pammy. Um, hope you're not working today. <laughs> I really do. These strawberries are so good. Mm. So you can watch this in in the entirety, and you can do the sushi ultimate sushi that we have. I don't know. Where, uh, will you stop stuffing my face? <laughs> mm, the strawberries are good. We have okay. a variety of uh, sushi. Of sushi. That's right. So now. Before we get into the sushi making, I told you, my love, yeah. that I had a story for you uh -huh. about my first time yeah. making sushi. So I had spent some time working as a chef in Miami, and I came back from that experience in about 2005, 2006, 2007. I can't remember. You're Long not time. proposing to me yeah, again, no, are you? No, no, no. Because <laughs> you're holding my hand like <laughs> So I came back from Miami. I had been doing a lot of catering out there and private chef work. And I, and I got inspired. This is when people started doing a lot of fusion with sushi and started making sushi with different types of non-traditional stuff, like Latin sushi with skirt steak and sweet plantains or things like that. And so I came back, and one of my clients in New York hired me to do a, a cocktail party. And so I was so inspired. I was like, oh, why don't we make it a sushi party? I'm going to make all these types of sushi. And they were like, oh, yeah, that sounds amazing. You can do that. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> so I have myself never made sushi, okay? But I hired a sushi chef, mm. okay? I hired a sushi chef. It was in, uh, in New York City, Union Square, in this big loft apartment, an entire open loft with the kitchen right there in the heart of the, of the space, 85 people in this space surrounding this open kitchen. And I had come up with this ingenious uh, menu of sushi uh, rolls, all right? And I had like shrimp tempura and mango and, and grilled skirt steak and sweet plantains and all these amazing things. And so I had prepped everything right. and hired the sushi chef to come and roll, roll the, sushi. the sushi. Not just roll the sushi, make the sushi rice. Okay. Because you need a sushi rice is, is yeah. a skill. Yeah, it's a yeah. skill. Mm -hmm. So I hadn't mastered like that skill. Sticky. I hadn't mastered that skill. So the sushi chef was supposed to make the rice and roll, roll the all sushi. the rolls. Okay. The sushi chef did not show up. <gasps> Oh my God. And there I was in front of 85 live people. Trying you know, to and see not, what not, you... not in the kitchen. Right in front of you. Open yes. space in a big loft in Union oh, Square. Oh my God. <laughs> and everyone was expecting sushi rolls. So? So that was my first time making, making sushi. sushi. Wow. Okay. So. <laughs> You had to be creative, like so. A quick, I say that to quick. say, listen, 
by, by halfway through, I was really good at making sushi oh because God. sometimes, you know, they say pressure makes diamonds. Now, <laughs> did all the guests start off with cocktails? Yeah. Okay, so they probably didn't but hear no, <laughs> no, this made them hungrier oh. and more aggressive. So as I was making rolls, I would make a roll here on my cutting board live. I had this open island, and I would be slicing rolls, and people would just be taking the piece. Like, okay, thank you. That like I was literally cutting rolls, and the guests were surrounding this, so just picking your up. production. I actually never, I actually never played it anything i, I kept trying it. to plate stuff so what i started doing it. was like instead of cutting my rolls i would make five rolls and they were like oh you're gonna cut that yeah in a second and i would make five <laughs> rolls and then i would start cutting rolls and they would just be like uh, 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 uh. trying to feed hungry drunk people oh um well, what so, a lesson. What a lesson. Not only, not only do I say that story to tell you that was the first. And since then, I've made sushi a couple of times. A few places where I've been a chef, I have made sushi rolls as a special. But today, to bring forth that story to present day, I'm going to make some things that I've never made before. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Because I'm a master chef. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be and, creative and right that, in front of your eyes, I and guess. So I, every everything that I'm making today, pretty much in terms of I'm making the ultimate keto sushi party, but these recipes I've never done them before. Right, I was right. I went out to um is the link down below to John Yi Seafood yeah, and in Red Terminal, Terminal here mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, which has been there for over 38 years. They serve amazing fresh fish and seafood yeah. so go check them out their website is linked below um and i we got i got uh whew, let me show you what i got a plethora <laughs> all right so like you know i i cook with love and i make this for my lady so you know we're, we're gonna get fancy a little bit so i have this jumbo lump mm. crab meat how mm. you feel about that look love, at the, you know i love look at that meat. look at love that it. jumbo That's lump so oh now you want me to, <laughs> now you want me to feed you right all right so we have this jumbo lump crab meat. Mm. A great thing about it is that if you're going to get salmon chopped up and chop it up to make a, a spicy salmon roll or a salmon roll, they sell the scrapes. If you go to a sushi restaurant and you get a spicy tuna roll or spicy salmon roll, it's because they scrape off all the meat off the bones, off the carcass of the fish. And, then they, and they chop they it chop up it and up. they turn that into a roll, so there's no waste. So for as you can see here, for one ninety nine, I got a nice eight ounce container of already chopped salmon. salmon. Yeah. Okay, which is super. It's the same fish that you get the fillet from. It's the same exact fish. So let me ask you this, baby. Just uh, just going back a little bit on your story. How did it feel creating those the, the, the sushi rolls and having all those people there and the, it's probably pressure, right? It was did a lot you, of pressure. A lot so of pressure. a lot of people are in love with the romanticism of being a chef. They see the Food Network. They see people saute stuff. They see the Stevie Wonder when you're slicing and dicing. That's all cool, but that is not what being a chef is about. When you're a chef, you basically create this beautiful dish. Like I'm cooking for just me and you. This is easy. But then someone says to you, oh, I want this dish for 20 people, 60 people, 160 people, all at the same time. So it's really more of an administrative position. Plus, if you work as a chef in a restaurant or a catering company, your job is to make money, save money for the business. Your job is food costs, which is, like I said, this is another great reason why when you make something like sushi, you but know. did they enjoy your sushi? That that so, was yes. know what everything, happened. All right, what you're right. The you're right. I gotta, I gotta, the end result was everything turned out amazing. <laughs> okay. Amazing. That's it was I'm, extremely I, high. I know it was pressure. It was you were on the spot. You were put on the spot. Where do you go from there? So, so I want to know. But to, yeah, to your point, yes. like, like I was trying to say before I went on a tangent, <laughs> being a chef is pretty much a lot of crisis management. You know, like when you're a chef, 
you plan and you plan and you plan and then everything goes wrong and your job is to fix it. That's right. Okay? Just, it just, you so, don't have no time to really so, think. You just yeah. have to So in do. the moment when you're working, like you, I don't have the luxury of feeling bad for myself. I can't tell my client in front of their 85 guests, oh, my sushi chef didn't roll up. I, you, you still have to do it. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so he took a day off. That right? is you know a crazy I mean? so, story. But yeah, so that and and to that point, today I'm making some things that I have never made before. Well, okay? you got support here. I'm because your master sushi chef. So we're gonna get this. This done. is a live cooking show. I need to get these strawberries away. We're gonna get I can't this done. Resist them. So we have some salmon here. We've got some crab here. We've got some salmon rolls, some beautiful little caviar, if you will. The salmon eggs. That's I love keto caviar. as hell. I love caviar. That we're going to use in our volcano roll. Pammy, I'm so glad that you're off today so you can fully enjoy today's show. Absolutely. Like, fully. And I don't know, Pammy, if this week you might have these ingredients in your, in your fridge <laughs> because we had to go and buy everything fresh. Because when you're making sushi, you want high quality, fresh, fresh, fresh fish. So let me get that napkin, please, yep. my queen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have this beautiful halibut here. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Talk Remember the first time that we had halibut, baby? Yeah. Um, well, it was at the fork, was it? Yes, at, at the, the fork, fork. In downtown. Mm -hmm. So we got that halibut right there. Let's see. Then I've got this beautiful piece of organic king salmon at John Yi Seafood. It, it wasn't. It wasn't cheap, but um, it was worth but, it. What, and I didn't use. Yeah, I, but I didn't you need saved a big piece. so much in here. Yeah, look, you saved so much piece. in here, so it really was really didn't need inexpensive. A big piece. About, if about you can, half a pound. Yeah, if you can save money in other areas, then it's all worth it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. And then the last thing that I got here is some amazing ahi tuna. Oh, okay. I love ahi tuna, and I didn't eat. Or was introduced to, I didn't know nothing about ahi tuna. I knew tuna, but ahi tuna, I knew of it, let's just say, but never had it until nice, I met Jose and we, ate, we eat ahi tuna. Pretty lot. much anywhere we go, they usually offer ahi they tuna. they have it, we order it. Um, yeah, and it's, it's I love it. Now I love it. It's del absolutely delicious, all right? But you want to make sure that all of your I can eat that as an appetizer and be done. That would be my meal. All right, now... So there's a few things that we have to make here for our sushi. The first thing is it's that we made. Meal. No. <laughs> the first that we made is this sushi rice. Okay. Now let me tell you how I made this sushi rice. I'm not gonna make it here. We made it in advance. All right. But let basically, me your, let me get your cup, baby, because I don't want yes, you to. Thank you. Yeah. Basically, what you're gonna do here, actually, we'll make some. All right. We'll make some. I'm going to show you right now the recipe is down below how to okay. make some uh, ultimate keto sushi rice. Okay, so what we're going to do here is that we have some cauliflower again that my love grated. You can do this in a food processor. You can do this in a so in we're a, not in a, a grater. That's a leaf. I'm grater. not using the leaf in there. Nope, so fine. again, we're not using the rice. Remember, we're keeping it keto. So this is going to be a keto sushi. So if you think you can have keto sushi, think again. That's right. You can. So we have a nonstick pan here with no oil, and we just want to steam off this rice for a couple of minutes to release some of that moisture and get it nice and tender, all right? Now, the way that they make traditional sushi rice is that they cook rice, which is time-consuming, and it's another art in terms of how much water you use, the time that you use it, when you take it off, when it's perfect. That's why I said I hired a sushi chef. Because making rice requires. Skill. Did you ever call him and 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 we give spoke. him your peace we, of mind? Yeah, listen, the thing is that we spoke, <laughs> but peace at the mind. end of the day, it didn't, know. I Ooh. can't relive that day. I can't redo the event for the client and have him show up. So that's it. Now you just say you're fired. <laughs> listen, he fired himself. He sure did. Okay. Wow. He was just never rehired. So I have here, when you make traditional sushi rice, what you do is that you cook the rice to perfection, and then you add this combination of uh, rice, wine, vinegar, and sugar that you heat up in advance to kind of make slightly syrupy. It's what they call a French cuisine, a gastrique. And then you cool the rice, and you add that sweet vinegar uh, solution. Between the starch and that sweet vinegar, that makes the rice gelatinous, that makes it sticky, okay, as it cools. 
in, in the keto one, we don't have that starch in the uh, in the cauliflower rice. So we we're just it. going to steam it out for a few minutes right here in the pan. You don't really want to get too much color on it. If you do get good color, that's okay. You can just lower your pan, all right? And then I have a little bit of a apple cider vinegar we use it because we're keto it has more nutritional elements so i have some organic so what rice. is the apple cider vinegar for though so it's just to add traditionally sushi rice has some vinegar rice wine vinegar oh yeah oh, i love that i love and that and it rice. also has yes. a little bit of sweetness yes. and sugar so we're using some of our abulose again and a little bit of the uh so apple if, if you're just joining us, let me get the alulose yeah. again. If you're just joining us, a lot of the shows previously that we did uh, create some of our drinks. Um, we used uh, use a swerve, but now, you know, we found the alulose online and we received it a couple of days ago. So we're going to use this instead of the swerve. And, and it's more health beneficial, right? That's right. It's, I mean, like I said, they're, 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 the jury is out there about uh, if there are some questionable ingredients in Swerve. We're not the keto police. We're not here to tell you what you should or you shouldn't use. We have used Swerve. It is keto friendly by keto metrics, but there are some people that claim that there's some not uh, uh, you know, good stuff in there. Alulose in general is definitely um, across the board yeah. except in and, a, and about like fully, a, fully healthy and, fully and about healthy. almost a year ago we visited this um this bakery here in, in philadelphia the fairmont area um uh, was it uh, candace the, uh, um dessert crazy, dessert crazy. Here in philadelphia it's the first keto bakery here in philadelphia it's operated by a lady named candace conway it's she, more like a gluten uh well well she has gluten-free vegan yes it's, a, it's basically a, a, a pastry shop a dessert shop and, and uh, this is what and most of the her uh, stuff that she uses is sweetened because yes. it's the best uh, keto sweetener um, is allulose. So I actually learned mostly about it from her. So if you're watching, thank you, Candice. And if you're in the Philadelphia area, please go check out Dessert Crazy. Go check them out online. I should have linked up information below. Okay, so, so um, Overton says, I find that allulose has, law, has less of an alt after effect, aftertaste, sorry, aftertaste. Hey, after hey, hey. where you go? Woo, woo, woo. Now, a lot of us in the house woo, like woo, woo. soft box. Come right back and say, you're her. Woo, woo, woo. Now, a lot of us in the house. So we have here our cauliflower, as you can see, just a few minutes, we steamed it out. Come say hello. Come say hello, Alana. mama. Come say hello. I'm gonna add here my sweet <laughs> vinegar. My beautiful girl. <laughs> Look, so after this, I gotta run because yeah, I have a little surprise for all my daughters. Where I'm gonna present them with some lovely, lovely gifts for my uh, bridal party. <laughs> now we have I had a baby some vinegar and some so a little bit of sweetener, and then to bring this in, give it the sticky element and keep it keto. We're gonna add a little bit of cream cheese. Now, and it's can, okay to do that while you're in the heat, while yes, it's you know. Because what I want to do is, <laughs> mm, I want to get the cheese incorporated into the rice make everything homogenous it's gonna have to cool before i can use it so i already have some that's pre cool. uh -huh. but the cream cheese is gonna add flavor and it's gonna make this cauliflower sticky. rice sticky, sticky. yes like mm, like a keto sticky rice okay so i'm gonna get this off to the side now lana be careful when you walk around there okay Stay. i'm gonna get this off to the side Actually, I'm going to put this up here. Pardon me. Hot. And. Um, that's, yeah. There you go. There we go. So I have some here that I made in advance. Let me get a, a clean spoon. I have some here that I made in advance. And you can see it's nice and sticky. Okay. So I've got my sushi rice. Right now, I've got my nori for my rolls. Thank you. And one more thing that we have to make is our tempura. Yes. Okay. I love shrimp tempura. It is my number one thing to have when I go to a Japanese restaurant. It's my number one thing to have when I have any type of shri uh, shrimp roll. I have anything and everything that has shrimp tempura. So I have some shrimp here. 
and I'm going to show you how we're going to make a keto tempura. So I'm going to put my rice off to the side. Let me get my bowl. Let me get my tablespoon. Again, if you're just joining us, our cocktail drink, our signature drink today is called the strawberry nigori sake. It has a little tequila. We use some tequila and we use the, uh, the sake. This has, uh, it's called Snow Maiden, okay? And we use some uh, fresh strawberry puree that we, uh, I did this morning. We got some fresh, we got some fresh strawberries and we pureed them on in the uh, blender. We got some, uh, what's this one The recipe is down below. Yeah, it is way. down below. We got That's a- That's uh, you know, an sweet, orgiac. Yes. orgiac. It's an almond syrup. We make we kept the keto by using our alolol sweetener. Um, heated that up with some almond milk. We added some almond extract and some orange uh, flower water. We add some orgiac, a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice, baby. Yes. And then a little let me in there, right there. Thank you. And some strawberry puree. Ooh. Make a fresh drink. Let's do it. I'm ready. This was pretty good. This was not, not heavy at all. I mean, it, it probably will hit you after. But right now, we're enjoying it. And so can you, Pammy, because it's Sunday and you're off. That's right. <laughs> all right. And then we topped it off as a garnish with some Japanese chili, some togarashi. <laughs> yeah. Yum, yum, yum. All right, so. Was that togarashi chili? Uh, Overton says, mm, I want that. LOL. I hope my husband has some sake in the bar. <laughs> I, I tell you right now, go look for it. If he does, he can go on a hunt. You can improvise. Go on a Skip hunt. Skip the sake and just do tequila. <laughs> Cheers, my love. It wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be Ooh, called Nagori sake. Thank you, baby. Mm. You have the sweetness from the strawberries. The rounded spice flavor from the orgia and that Torigachi chili. Torigachi. Can't even talk. Torigachi. So we have here our way isolated protein. We're about to make our tempura batter right here live. All right, so I'm going to use. Five dollar one girl. She's back from Puerto Rico. <laughs> she celebrated her 25 years out. Congratulations. Congratulations. Everything looked beautiful, Mama. Everything looked beautiful. I'm glad you enjoy yourself. Uh, you deserve it. And everything looked beautiful. Lovely yeah, family, by the way. The yes. <laughs> and we're back. We're here. And welcome back home. Welcome back. <laughs> She's so cute. She says, dynamic duo. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Carmen. We're here. And thank you for coming in to our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Hit that notification button. That way you are notified every time we come on. That's right. And hit that like button. If you don't like it, then hit then the, hit the dislike button. button. Yes, we, we're good with that. Hit a button. <laughs> hit something. All right. Now, we're making here our tempura batter for our shrimp tempura because it's the ultimate keto sushi party. And a keto party would be remiss of calling itself that if it didn't have... Shadow, what are you doing? If it didn't have uh, sushi... If it didn't have shrimp tempura, that's my favorite sushi. I don't know about you. All right, let me get some salt in here. So I have here some of our whey ice, I know, some of our whey isolate protein. I have some bacon powder, bacon soda. The recipe is down below in the description. I have some salt and some zanzam, uh, zanzam gum. All right. And now, for now, those that don't know about um, the Zanzan gum, what is it for, my love? It's a thickening agent. And uh, so, like, we use it today. Actually, we made an eel sauce, mm. all right, which we didn't use eels in. But we made an eel sauce that uh, we thickened 
with Zanzan gum. So it's a great <laughs> thickener. You probably use it on a lot of store bought vinaigrettes. And that's I'm talking about that weight, the, the, what is it, the wheat protein? Did we put it away? Okay, Pammy wanted to to see what it was. Yeah, so I had sure. to take a picture of it and send it to her because sure. she was interested in it. No, I did, I did. But just to, you know, these are the things that, you know, people are watching. So when they see something and they're like, ooh, you know, uh, if that can be used for, for food, or you know, as a base. Of so the something. way the way isolate protein that my love is talking about, um, that's what we use as our bread and for our, our our fried chicken. So if you've seen our chicken and waffle yeah. episode, we don't use this for chicken. smoothies or anything like that. No, no, no. This, but this is not for that. This is more for the consistency for uh, the base of our food, like to get the crunch, to get that feel. Like whisk. like he said, like if we're doing fried chicken. Um, I thought we brought it out. And also last week, baby, when we made the chicken parmesan, yeah, we exactly. used it as our bread and for our chicken parmesan exactly. combined with uh, combined with our um, parmesan cheese. We made a bread and for our chicken parmesan. So there is uh, many uses for our whey isolate protein, but you want to make sure you're not using just whey protein, you're using whey isolate protein. Thank you, my queen. All right, so I have my shrimp tempura batter here. You just want to whisk everything together, make sure there's no lumps. <clears throat> All right. In the meantime. In the meantime, <laughs> back, to, uh, back to our bat channel, our keto channel. All right, so that's my tempura batter right there. I'm going to let it rest for a second. I have my shrimp here. I'm going to you... keep stirring it for no, you. No, it's fine, baby. I'm going to show you how I get my shrimp ready. And then let me get my fire. Ready so I can make these shrimp tempura right here live. Okay, so I've got my tongs. Move this out the way. Oh my, that that chili is so good, right? It it, it does have a little slight kick to the drink, which is really good. Nice, it complements the drink. It really does complement. So we have here drink. some large shrimp, some 1620s. We peeled the um, the shell off. You can also cut through them. All right, Shadow. clean out that vein. That's what they call it. The jury is out on what that really is. And you also want to cut into the bottom part as well. Make sure that that's nice and clean. All right, so I'm going to do that with a few of these. Okay, I'm going to cut into both sides. So we're making three rolls today. All right, my three favorite rolls. So here's the thing. We're showing you how to make keto sushi, right? You've got your uh, your nori, your roasted seaweed sheets to roll it up. Now you saw how we made the keto uh, sushi rice. So you can pretty much make any type of roll that you like. Another great thing that we like about sushi, I think that especially now in this COVID time when people are spending more time with their loved ones, it's a great interactive thing. Like, Get you know, get a bunch get, of things. Get, get the family involved. Get, get the everyone kids. If rolling. You, you know, if your family have children, small ones, you know, uh, teenagers, get them all involved. Do some sushi. Have them do their own creative sushi. Just you know, bring like a big plate of you know how you yeah, have like paint like a painting board. party, but you have little you know their favorites, and a then you can do a little sushi board. where they can just create their own sushi. All right, so I'm just getting these few shrimp here clean. So we can temporize them. All right, beautiful. Now, making sure that they're nice and clean. Another thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna just cut a bunch of slits into them, not too deep, but I wanna do that so that they kind of keep their shape and stay straight as they, as they cook. So I'm just gonna take one of these little shrimp right here and just cut a bunch of little slits into them and what's the slits for so that as it as it cooks it doesn't curl up oh. okay it doesn't curl up all right, all right. but you don't want to you, you don't want to go all the way through well that's you what i'm, want, that's what I'm a master like a chef, baby. <laughs> no any any anybody that makes shrimp tempura will probably know that it's just standard you can also put a pick through them Got it. And that would keep them straight as you cook them. But and why wouldn't you want them to because, shrimp? Because I mean, the, the you know, roll shrimp. is going to be straight, so you don't want the shrimp to curl up. Okay. Inside your roll, you want your shrimp to be straight. Got it. 
All right, so you're just gonna make little slits into them. Did, did you know that? Because I sure did. <laughs> you're just gonna make little slits into the body so that as it cooks, they don't curl up. Mm. They kind of just right. stay, straight, stay straight, all right? Okay. All right, so we got our batter. We got our shrimp clean and cut through. All right. So you learned a few things um, doing that big uh, uh, Oh, I learned, fiasco a, lot, I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of things. <laughs> you really learned a few you things. Know that, 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 uh, you know what I learned? When that that sushi master didn't you know what show learned? up. <laughs> what I learned is that when you need one sushi chef, you hire two. <laughs> you hire the backup? That's right. Well, that's that's what I learned because. And what if the backup wouldn't have shown up? Well, then. You know, the, I'm going to bring well, you some I mean, uh, objections I mean, here. Listen, <laughs> then we're back to the scenario one. I'm making sushi, you know? But I just I just would have doubled my chances. Then we would have just ordered sushi from the Japanese place around the corner. <laughs> I would have increased my chances of someone showing up. All right? I would have had twice as many chances of someone showing up. Now, did you hear my story? No. The first time I made sushi rolls, I had a I, I was doing a party for a catering client. It was 85 people in this open kitchen on a loft in New York City. And I came up with all these cool sushi rolls and I hired a sushi chef to come and roll everything. And, well, long story and short. And make the rice, because the rice is the hardest part that I didn't know how to make. <laughs> and he didn't show up. So I had to make all these rolls in front of all these people, drunk, aggressive, <laughs> hungry, happy people, live. And I had never made a sushi roll before. Isn't that amazing? That's why I'm a master <laughs> chef. Now, that mm. that was uh, that's a story. Like uh, someone mentioned here, uh, Daisy Roman, Roman, uh, Roman or Roman, Roman. That says great story. <laughs> it's it's quite uh, it's crazy, especially when uh, baby, uh, come here, just come here. Little saute pan. Huh? Yes, come here and I'll Thank go you. get it. I thought she's my master sous chef. I swear, if my head wasn't attached to my body, it'd be a whole different story. All right, so we have our shrimp here. We have our tempura batter. So we're about to make some shrimp tempura. Amazing. Please and thank you. I have my little fry saute pan here. Let's get some fire on. Get that heated up. It's gonna heat up very, 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 very quickly. I'm gonna get some paper towel here to drain my tempura when it comes out. I have my tongs right over there. All right. And I'm gonna use some avocado oil. It's the best audience ever. Because <laughs> it has a high smoking point of 500 degrees. So I'm gonna use some avocado oil here. You can also make these in the air fryer. Using the you know the same air fryer cooking uh, instructions that's absolutely fine, um, but we're just gonna make our tempura right here live. And uh, if you did these in the air fryer, you might want to put them at around 300, 350 degrees for about ten minutes, ten to twelve minutes. All right, and I'm gonna let my oil heat up. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna let my oil heat up. I'm going to make my tempura. And once my tempura is done, I'm going to have all my components pretty much ready for our dish. I need a couple of bowls. The or, little white ones? Yeah, like okay. a couple of bowls or, or to-go containers or something, like two or three. All right. And the last thing that we're going to make for you that we've made many times right here live is our, our keto mayo. All right? Because... We have three sauces today. One is an eel sauce, which we already made in advance. We didn't add the recipe to that, but perhaps this week we'll do that. Oh my God, these pork rinds look so delicious. Mm. Mm. If you're new to our channel, then you should know that pork is my favorite vegetable. Mmm, so happy. Oh, I'm okay. All right, so let's get the shrimp tempura going. I got the shrimp by the tail, and my oil is hot. And I don't know if you can see this right now, but because I cut those slits into them. 
Because I cut those slits into them. No, that's no, okay, baby. It's okay. I need it to be hot. Because I cut those slits into them. The body is not seasoned up. You see that, my love? Yeah, I see. They're staying straight. I see. Okay? Neat so, trick, baby. Neat trick. I never even knew that. Now I know why they stay like that. But you know what? I never even put any thought into to those little details. All right, so now I have here my spicy salmon, my salmon, which we're gonna turn into our spicy salmon. So this is already chopped up. It's just scraps from the cartilage, from the bones of the fish, the carcass of the fish that they scrape off with a spoon. And I'm also gonna make some spicy crab. I have this beautiful jumbo lump crab meat in there. I'm gonna use some inside of the roll in, one, in the rainbow roll, and I'm gonna use on the volcano roll some spicy crab, so thank you, my love. Yes, and, and because we're doing this fresh right in front of you, a lot of the things are gonna take probably um, some time, some prep time. So if you can just stick around and get a crash course on how to do sushi right here in front Absolutely. of you, yes. So our yes. shrimp tempura is about to be done. It takes no time to it cook. It doesn't. Look at that. It and that was with no the, the, pro, the wheat protein. Look at that. Now, we're going to show you how we've done many times how we make our preferred mayo. keto mayo. Now, we've done a regular keto mayo with eggs. Um, this one is a vegan keto mayo because it's our favorite. Uh, we, we ourselves are not plant-based. A lot of people in our community and family and friends are, are plant-based. Um, we ourselves are not. As you can see, we're having shrimp, tempura, and salmon, and tuna, and halibut. However, um, when we make our keto mayo, our, we prefer we prefer the vegan plant-based mayo that we make a lot more than the one so with I'm, egg. I'm going to show you the, this is called the shrimp tempura. Tempura, yep. Shrimp tempura, look at that. And what you use the... Uh, the the we made tempura batter. Batter, mm -hmm. tempura batter with with uh, whey isolate protein, whey bacon isolate powder, protein. bacon soda, um, zanzibar gum, a little bit of salt, egg, and a little bit of club soda. Were you able to see that? That's how they come out. Okay. All right, and then you can deep fry these or air fry these, but I would I would mm. recommend deep frying them, sauteing them a little bit of uh, a little avocado bit of oil. Mm. All right, it doesn't take long. Again, Woo. thank you for those that are just joining us. Welcome, happy Sunday, happy Palm Sunday. And welcome to our keto community with love. Yeah. Everyone celebrating Palm Sunday. All right, just takes a few minutes. Oh. To make our shrimp tempura. All right. You don't want your shrimps to overcook and be rubbery. So Overton says um, the batter really sticks. I'm going to try that tempura tonight. Hey, uh, Overton, can you when you do try that Overton, let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Uh, take a picture of it, please, and send it to me. Send it to us. <laughs> now, so that right there is how you make keto shrimp tempura. All right. So we have our tempura here. Let us know how your hubby likes it too. If you're fine, also if you get that uh, sake. <laughs> That's right. Now, so we pretty much have all of our components ready. Let's quickly make our, our our vegan mayo. So we have here some garbanzo beans, some chickpeas, and what we're gonna use is that we're just gonna use the water from the garbanzo beans as a thickener. Okay. This this starch in there, and so if you were a uh, plant-based vegan, baby, sounded like the alarm. I'm putting. I know. I see that. <laughs> Ring the alarm. Another soundboy sign. I'm gonna put eggs in there because it's the vegan mayo. So I have some apple cider vinegar. You need a little bit of acidity. Beautiful. And we're gonna start emulsifying this. You have the avocado oil, my love. The yeah. three S's 
of making a dressing or an emulsification or a sauce is slow, steady stream. Slow, steady stream. Let me know when. Slow, steady stream. In the beginning, especially, you want to go very light. As it, as you get it going, then you could add a little bit more. Get a little bit more aggressive. A little bit more, baby. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, so no, no, just like slow, steady stream. But if you want to dress it in this, you know I got to dress it in this. Well, steady, steady. It still has to be steady. All right. I'm going to show you how you make keto mayonnaise. In just a few minutes. Yeah. Keto and happens to be hold this vegan mayo. Okay, so this is going to be the base for our spicy oh, mayo. Look at that! Wow. This is going to be the base for our spicy mayo, <laughs> Mr. Wolf. <laughs> no, right? He's like, I'm waiting for something to drop. It will be the base wow, for baby. our spicy mayo. <laughs> Now. Give me a spoon so I can try it. Yep. So, look at that. Mayo. All right, mm -hmm. just like that, right in front of your eyes. Keto. And like I said, plant-based mayo. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Give them a little you bit. can season it however you like. Mm. Okay. Okay. You can season it however you like. But we're gonna turn this into a spicy mayo mm. by simply adding <laughs> sriracha. When? <laughs> okay. So. So that is how we made our spicy mayo. So I didn't add the um, try that? No. spicy one. No, I'm, I didn't add the the uh, the recipe for the eel sauce that we made. So my apologies on that. I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna add that to Instagram this week. I'm gonna add the eel sauce recipe recipe this week. And so if you if you're watching this, you can follow us on Instagram. The link is actually in the description below. All right, you can go to our Instagram channel, follow us there. And I'm going to show you how I made our eel sauce. One minute, but it's pretty you, much while you continue. It's pretty much a thickened. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Now that you must try. No. Just, just a no, little. Sorry. No, no, no. It's, fine. it's got. It's good. It's going to be like the sauce. All right, well, I have All right, it for so you. I've got, my, mm -mm. <laughs> I've got my spicy mayo here. I've got my sriracha. Oh, baby, that was good. And then I've got my Guys, eel that sauce was that I made good. in advance. And again, like I said, follow us on Instagram. I'm going to put this recipe up this week. Taste this, my love. <laughs> it's basically a sweetened, thickened soy mm. sauce. There's no eel in there. We took some water, some low-sodium soy sauce, 
and we heated that up. We seasoned it, we seasoned it with our allulose, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then I used the zanzam gum and my emulsion blender <laughs> to puree that all together. The zanzam gum gives it a nice gelatinous sauce consistency. Right, right. And that's the eel sauce. Okay. Here's our uh, spicy mayo. Here's our sriracha. We've got our shrimp tempura. All right. We can add some of our spicy mayo into this mm. salmon for our, our spicy salmon. Okay. This is going to be the belly of our... Volcano roll. That's going to be the inside lava of our volcano roll. Let me and that's add. good, baby, because um, don't we have the cucumbers too and the. Um... Mm -hmm. I just want a little okay. bit of salt in there. All right. So let's give that a taste. <laughs> I want to mm. just. Mm. Very good. Mm. This is good. salmon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That is pretty good. Now I have here our crab. I'm going to add a little bit of spicy mayo sauce into our crab. And like Nailana said, it is a little bit loose, the consistency. You could have made the mayo thicker if you wanted it to be thicker, but I really use it as a sauce. Right. So, and so we're mean, supposed to have squeeze bottles to put it. And I have plastic bags to so kind of, but this is gonna help. Piping us. bags. Yeah, this is gonna help us do it. Yeah, I can. I'm do just that gonna for break you. up. I can break up a little you. bit. All right. So again, we got the crab. Mama, come on. With the spicy mayo. Mmm. 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 Mm. Very nice. Very mm. very nice. Okay, now. It's time to make some sushi. Yes. <laughs> Let's show the sushi. <laughs> it is time to make some sushi. Because now if somebody wants a sushi party, they don't have to hire that other chef. They can hire... They, they, they definitely don't want to hire him. <laughs> they're they're going to hire you, my love. <laughs> they definitely don't want to hire him. Sharp knife. Okay. So, I've got my nori here. My roasted seaweed sheets. Yeah. And when you make sushi, you want the uh, the rough side facing you and the shiny side facing down. Okay. Okay. So. So wait. This is the this, this is shiny. Is, that's shiny. That's oh, shiny. I thought the other side was shiny. This is less shiny. No, oh, I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah. Now, okay. now we're not sure, right? Yeah. This looks rough to me. I think this one is rough. No, no, this is shiny right here. Okay. This is less shiny. Okay. This looks matte. So now that we saw okay. that. <laughs> Not really, but um, I'm going to agree to disagree right. or disagree to agree, whichever one you want to. Where is our sushi rice? About here it is. Okay. So now I got my sushi rice. The first roll that we're going to make is going to be our, our rainbow roll. All right, so let me get some water over here so I can wet my hands. That's whether you're making regular sushi with rice or whether you're making keto sushi, you want to get some water with your hands. Okay, and I'm going to add. Are uh, you guys still tuning in? I, I mean, he's now doing the uh, sushi roll. So, guys, take note of this. All right, and you don't have to fill your paper, you're going to just fill up half of your paper here. Get your sushi rice, all right? Beautiful. And you don't have to go all the way out to the edges either, all right? Because it all just form itself you when just you want roll it. Nice, it correct. Yeah. You just want it nice and even. Mm -hmm. So let me get my, I got a couple of sushi mats here. Let me get some plastic on them. All right, so so this my, one is called which one? Which is this, this is one? A, this is the rainbow roll. This is the rainbow roll. So I got a sushi mat over here. Let's move our drinks out the way. This is the best way to move it out the way. <clears throat> All right. So I got my sushi mat there, and I'm going to flip this over carefully. You like this that? This is pretty good, baby. Thank you. I'm going to flip that over carefully. Okay. Now... 
We got a little bit of this tuna. This is the, okay, so, so the rainbow roll has tuna, salmon, crab, and, and halibut, uh, right? Oh yeah. Yep, so I got my tuna there. I want to get this skin off of this salmon right here. And we can't use this. We're just going to use from here. Okay, so I got the skin. Perfect. Off of my salmon Perfect. right there. Perfect. You just eat it raw. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, they don't cook sushi anything. is. Like, I know sushi. <laughs> I just thought like they did something to it. Mm -mm. And then I got my halibut over here, which I'm also going to take the skin off of. See who's commenting. See who's joining us. Happy uh, Sunday. Happy Sunday. If you guys are watching, let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts? You know, give us some feedback. Delicious engage with holiday. us. Yes, engage with us. Happy Sunday to all. If you're enjoying this beautiful Sunday. And if, you and, like, and if you're not watching this on Sunday, if you're watching this on replay and you like sushi, give this video a like. Yeah, give this Comment video a like. Let us know. Give us some feedback. So I have our beautiful house. Just like you, here. I'm like just watching. Like our beautiful <laughs> see how this here. turns out, right? Our beautiful salmon here for our rainbow. And our halibut. What you say, halibut? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm gonna get some avocado going in here as right. well. So I've got my avocado in here. Just cut the tip off. And the birds are chirping. Do you hear the birds? I love it. Love it. Now, I need a butter knife, my queen. Give me Got a butter it. knife. No All right. So what am I going to put inside of this rainbow roll? Because like I said, we're taking this to a whole other stratosphere. So you can put whatever you want inside. But I'm going to put some of that jumbo lump crab meat. All right? Yes. We'll put, look at this, baby. Yes, my love. I'm putting this jumbo lump crab meat. Mm. Ooh. Inside of this butter knife, my love. Rainbow. <laughs> mm. All right. So that's mm. Let me show you how a sushi chef cuts the avocado. So you just want a regular butter knife, and just like that, you can just get little pieces of avocado into your roll. All right, that's the that's the easiest way to get avocado into your sushi roll. The next component that I have in here is some cucumber. Which okay. that's my favorite. It's the nice, cucumber yeah, roll. It's that nice fresh yeah. pop. But I also have, I also enjoy having um, sushi wrapped in cucumber or seaweed, right? Absolutely. So this is the seaweed here, the nori. But we added some cucumbers. Now I'm going to add some thinly sliced. We added some, we added some avocado. Now I'm going to add some thinly sliced cucumber batons. Okay, so we've got super lump crab meat. Crab meat. Mm -hmm. We've got cucumber, we've got avocado. And now, so this is the rice part here. This is empty. We're gonna to start to give this a roll. And when you put the rice in? The rice is on the outside, but it's, it's on the outside already. Okay. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. And you just wanna tug this on the bottom. Okay. That's pretty neat. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> All right. Say it. But we're not say it. What's say my it. motherfucking. What's my name is? <laughs> All right. But we're not done yet. Okay. Because now this is a rainbow roll. So we're going to put some of this tuna, some of this salmon, mm. some of well, this, this halibut, halibut. That's, yes. some more tuna. Wow. Okay. Some salmon. Mm. Okay, then from that avocado, some little more 
tiny slivers and put that right there in between. Okay, you're being all creative. Put that with right that. there in there between. Go, some... Put that right. This is the ultimate. <laughs> the ultimate keto sushi. I might put keto, I might put sushi restaurants out of business <laughs> after today when people realize that they can just make this themselves at home. All right, you're gonna cover cover this again. Yeah. With the plastic. Take okay. your mat. And then just press that even, all right, to get that nice, nice. and tight. Beautiful. Okay. So My now, love. yeah. Let me get a little plate for us to put this off to the side, okay. please. I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm gonna start to slice. Good, it's good. Perfect. <laughs> no, no, don't take it off, baby. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, so now, how was that? It's good. <laughs> she wasn't ready. <laughs> okay. That's good. That is really good. Guys, you watching? Delicious. Okay. Delicious. Now, <clears throat> mm. so so good. Mr. Whoop. Mm. So we got one roll ready to plate. I'm gonna serve myself. Some wine here while you keep entertaining. <laughs> All right, so we got one roll. This is our dragon roll here. And like I said, similar to my experience, no, the first time making sushi. Roll. No, that's, this is the rainbow roll. Thank the, you. That's the rainbow, rainbow roll. roll. Yes. So similar to my experience of making sushi rolls for the first time, this is my first time making these sushi. Rolls and it tastes delicious, by the way. Thank you. It really does. So we're going to discover and, and no rice, just the cauliflower, which was the, right, the base of the, it. I got the plastic mm -hmm. caught up there. So there you, you see, go. this is this is the beauty of cooking live. You might have a little hiccups. You just work. You just got to work through them. You just got to work through them. All right, so beautiful. Mm. All right, we're gonna make it work. Now you can garnish your platter with some pickled ginger, some wasabi. I got it. I got it. Okay. Some pickled ginger, some wasabi, some uh, some soy sauce to dip. We've gone through the trouble of making all these amazing sauces, so that's what we're gonna use to garnish. So we have here our rainbow roll. I'm gonna add a little bit of our Oof. spicy mayo. Spicy mayo. All right, this got crab inside. Okay. Now, little 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 tiny drop. Sriracha. Mm-hmm. Is it open? Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're done. All right. So that's our rainbow roll. Like I said, I'm making these for the first time. So we're learning together. All right. There you go. That's, that's the beauty of being alive. See it. <laughs> so now our next roll that we're making. Okay, here, let's let's put this off to the side. We're gonna taste that at the end. We're gonna taste oh, that at okay. the end all together. Put it right here. Okay. So the next roll that we're making. Sorry, Nana. That's okay. She's looking forward to um having lunch later too. Yeah, she, she has her woofy look. <laughs> like I'm just gonna stay here. I know in time they're gonna feed me. Maybe I'm cute. <laughs> Maybe. Today All right. Time now, so our next roll is our dragon roll, right? So again, we have our nori right here. This is a the uh, I'm gonna wet my hands here. 
to work with our keto sushi. So the nori, rice. Well, I mean, not the nori, the dragon roll, right? That's a dragon yep. roll. So the dragon roll has a shrimp, tempura, shrimp tempura, and avocado. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, so I was going to have a little bit of cucumber in here. Okay. So it has cucumbers. And it's going to have some of our sauces. Got it. Okay. Now, let's get our sushi mat again. Where is it's it? right here, my love. It's right here. <laughs> Let me get my plastic wrap. How's everyone enjoying this? Are you still on with us? Still on watching this? Come on. Say hello. Say hello. hello. Happy watch Sunday. this all unfold and rolled up for you. Like I said, this is like the first time that I did this live in front of people, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But sometimes it's like that. So I have my shrimp tempura here. All right. Mm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've got my avocado. Okay. This is also going to get avocado on the top. Now, every sushi restaurant kitchen kind of does their own recipes for these. So if you're like, oh, that's not the dragon roll I had, it's maybe not. Okay. But uh, every place does like their own recipe, their own rendition. Okay, so they can so... put something different on the top. Uh, we're going to put avocado on the top to make those dragon scales. Some places might put eel. All right. But my baby doesn't mm -hmm. like eel. Mm -hmm. So uh, we didn't use eel today. So I got my avocado, my shrimp tempura, and I'm going to go ahead and give this a roll. All right. So they can see. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck this all evenly together. Last time I got my plastic in there, so I want to make sure not to do that this time. And that's what I was trying to take it out. Yep. But I can't take it out before I cut it. Mm -hmm. Now I got to cut. I got to cut caught in the roll. All right. So there we have our. Let me give this a little bit. A little, a little tuck. There we have our shrimp tempura, our dragon wow. roll. Mm -hmm. But now we're gonna give this the dragon scales on top. So all of these are going to be made with the uh, cauliflower rice? Well, there's going to be one that we don't do, and I'm going to tell you about that in a second. Okay. Okay, so let me get my avocado out. And all you want to do with this avocado, no worry. All you want to do with this avocado is just peel it back. Overton, thank you for still joining us. Um, exactly, for staying yeah, on. Yeah, it is, it is kind of a, like a process. Um, sometimes you don't know how long the process is going to be, so I do appreciate that you're st still there watching this. So first we did the rainbow roll, and now we are going to do the dragon roll. That's right, it has shrimp tempura. Shrimp tempura, avocado. Our sushi rice, the nori. Well, the, the uh, cauliflower sushi rice, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, the nori. The nori. And on the inside, it has the shrimp tempura, some avocado and cucumber. And then here we have this thinly, thinly, beautiful, thinly oh, sliced you did that so beautifully. avocado. <laughs> I love you that. Like? You like? So neat, yes. So this is going to be here, our dragon scales. Oh, wow. Cute. This is going to be our dragon scales and hence ah. the dragon roll. Okay, so, so again, I'm gonna put this over. You have to show. I'm gonna put this before over. You hold it. Let's see. Right. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Okay. No, no. Let's let's, let's just sure unfoil the first layer on, of the plastic. Sure no, let's unfoil. No, because I have to cut it first, baby. No, so they can see what you're All just right, presenting so, yeah, on so the plastic. So we have here. Uh, our dragon scales, and it's just the fan out thinly sliced. I still don't know if you cucumber. can see it, but there maybe perhaps you can see it now. There you go. All right. So, so yeah. put my plastic on top, cut it down the middle. All right. Delicious. 
And I'm supposed to be having um, brunch soon. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It's okay, baby. <laughs> I'll just probably make, just be drinking. We're just making one roll of each. <laughs> I'll just probably be drinking. Nah. All right. We've got here our dragon roll. And you should just like do like a little shape of a dragon. That would be so neat. <laughs> Okay, baby. So check this out. Let them know what's in our dragon roll again. So again, in our dragon roll, there's shrimp tempura, avocados, um, cucumbers, and then we layered it on the top. And we look at that. So cute. Isn't that now, let's, beautiful? Let's, let's add some sauces. It's a dragon. Here. Let's add some sauces, baby. Sushi? Yes, yes. Add some sauces. Wait, let me just. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add some of that eel sauce that we made. Oh yeah. Woof. Look at We're that. Gonna add a little, little okay. sriracha. <laughs> nice. Oh right, yeah. Garnish that with yes. some ginger, some wasabi, some uh, a little dip in soy sauce as well. Beautiful. So that's and our second guys, row. Let me know. Ah! Let me. Oh baby, let me know if you guys can <laughs> see. That's the beauty of being alive. Hold on, baby. Let me get this. Let me, let me know if you guys can see. All right. Oh, so baby. that's okay. Be, no, no, no. No, no, no Wolf, no, Wolf, because no, no, no. you're going to burn your tongue if you try it. <laughs> All right. So we'll leave those there. All right. So we had a little accident, and that's the beauty of being alive. Now we have to taste the shrimp tempura. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Okay, so that was the dragon. So I set everything on fire right now. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. My baby, yes, my <laughs> Now, we had a little accident here live, but at least it wasn't on the computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby, relax. Go good. All right, now let's prepare our last roll here because we're about to do something special. Okay, so we have so far here our dragon roll, our what's our the remnants of our rainbow roll, and now we're gonna make something that I'm really excited about, and that's this volcano roll. And I promise you that the name volcano is very appropriate because this is going to be explosive. But I'm doing something different with this volcano roll. Ready, baby? Yeah. Okay, now, when we go out and have I need my Peter. We should be in the counter. Back in there. When we go out to sushi restaurants and we have sushi, one of the things that we do to keep it keto is that we'll say to them, Inside of our roll, don't put any rice, okay? Just instead put cucumber. So they'll put, thank you, baby. They'll put whatever the filling is with cucumber inside instead of rice. So that's one way that you can ketify your sushi experience anywhere you go. And that is an easy thing for them to do and accommodate. Now, another thing that we like to ask, and not every place does this or accommodates it, but many of the places that we like to go to, there's one place here in Philadelphia we like to go called Blue Sushi, which is amazing. Yeah. And again, in the heart of Center City in Philadelphia, um, and they're on 10th Street, and they are very amazing, uh, very delicious food, very accommodating. So when they were just that we were keto, we asked them if we can have our sushi rolls wrapped in cucumber yeah. mm -hmm. and they were more than happy to do this so going back to my story about how i had to make sushi in front of all these people and i had never done it before but in theory i knew how sushi was done how it was rolled i knew how the rice was made i had just never done it before so going back to that story today i'm going to attempt to make cucumber Wrap yes. sushi rolls. Yes, that's what I've been here live. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> here live with all of you 
even though I've never made it before. So let's see if I'm able to execute this. But pretty much what you want to do is get right under the cucumber and kind of get even pressure. This is probably why one of the reasons they don't really offer it so much because it's a it's lot of work. It's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. A lot of work in that. All right, but we're going to get it, baby, because I'm doing it for you. So let's see. Because if you don't know, I don't do a lot of cauliflower. I can only do like that one bite that I took earlier, and that's about it. <laughs> but I would do the cucumber, definitely. So the goal is not to break it up. It's okay. But it's to have it as one homogenous sheet. But I have a bigger cucumber here, which is the one that I want to use, this bad boy. This is the one that I wanted to use. Let me attempt it with this one. <laughs> Listen, we're going we're gonna to get it. <laughs> okay. All right? Because, right, I'm just going to treat this like it was that day when I was doing Irene and Minna's party. And I was making sushi in front of all these thousands of people. It felt like live. And, uh, and it had to get done. All right? So... Let's peel our cucumber. So it has to be peeled. It can't. It, we don't. Well, yeah, because you, otherwise you're gonna have that green on the outside, that skin. You but that's where the like nutrients are in too. It's so. okay. It's okay. okay because we have high quality crab and tuna and salmon and avocado and so there's plenty of nutrients here. If I was just having cucumber and making chips, then yeah, I would leave the skin on. Got it. But if I want to make a nice cucumber sushi, sushi. roll. That okay. I'm, and so you want to use a thicker cucumber if possible, all right? So again, I'm going to learn how to make this right here. <laughs> <sighs> it's a task, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> There's got to be a, a special machine that cuts these cucumbers to make them yeah it's called them. the human hand with <laughs> lots and lots of practice but all right so okay, we'll just leave it at that. i got i sort of got one here i'm going to try to make one more again i'm sure if i practice i can get really good at this no. but this is the beauty of Cooking live. And you know, I'm I'm doing this just to show you guys that if, you know if you never try something, that's no reason not to go for it. All right, so I guess in time I'll get better. But this I think is the best one that I got so far. So I'm gonna attempt to make it with this one. I've got here, where did I put it? What, what are you looking for? Okay. I've got here my spicy salmon. Okay, I've got my spicy salmon. That's, that's, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah. All right, I got my spicy salmon, and I'm gonna use the mat here. I'm gonna, ah! All right, so that broke, but that's okay. We're gonna make that work. All right, I need to clear all this up. Yeah. You don't this anymore? Nope. And I'll put this over here. Sorry, guys, I just, as a chef, I gotta work. Organize and clear. I want you to see this all nice and beautiful. All right, so get my area cleaned up. That's fine. That's all right, Mr. Wolf. He wants to know what's going on. All right, so I've got one here in cucumber. Okay. And I'm going to make another one with nori. I'm going to use that cauliflower rice that I just made. Use that cauliflower rice that we just made here live. Do you need the water? No, baby, thank you. All right, so. I said no, now it's hot, is it? 
got my sushi mat over here. I got my plastic wrap I'm getting. Okay. So I'm gonna make this one with cucumber. I'm gonna make one with nori as well. Wow. So this is the beauty of being live, but again, don't be intimidated. That's right. Okay. Don't be intimidated. So we've got here our spicy salmon, which is going to be the inside of our volcano roll. It's kind of like the lava and the belly so of the volcano. So that one has crab, salmon, pork. Oh, it has pork rinds. Oh, yeah. It has pork rinds and, um, and it has salmon roll. Salmon roll. Salmon roll. Yeah. And the pork rinds is to give it some, like a little texture. A little crunch. A little crunch. Okay. So... We've got salmon roe in here. We've got avocado. Again, I'm using my butter knife to get these nice wedges of avocado. Perfect. Okay. Some more. Where's that cucumber? You took it away? You, you gave me the whole platter. All right, just give me a little piece of cucumber, please. All right, guys, I got my beautiful, delicious salmon roe. Oh, my God, that looks amazing. I have my spicy salmon in here, avocado. I'm about to add a little bit of cucumber in here. Thank you, honey. <laughs> so I promise this is about to come together. A little cucumber. Okay, gorgeous. Let's get this a rolling. So do you have to always use that plastic? Yeah, it's just to keep your rolling mat clean. Okay. And keep everything nice and uniform. Nice. Okay. You, you can keep probably another roll and then it's nice and taught all right but are we done no <laughs> so now inside we've got spicy salmon avocado and tuna but this is a volcano roll so it's about to be a crazy now usually when you have a volcano roll they use the imitation crab meat and they cut it up but we're not going to do that here. But if you do that, absolutely no judgment on us. There are some more carbs in there. So you want to be mindful of and that. And you want the uh, imitation, imitation crab meat because it is kind of like yeah, a so process. Keep that, in food. Mind. keep that in mind. But we're going to use this real spicy. Would it have been like better to, to do it while you had, um, so you have to roll it again? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got you. <laughs> mm. Okay, so now. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it's just, are you hungry? <laughs> She's all part of the process. Okay, Eating now. as you go. <laughs> all right, so. Let's get this out the way. It's too much. <laughs> it's like. Give me one more platter, baby. What's that one? You don't have to be the new ones. It can be one of the bigger ones. I know we have more. Home. I need a little bigger one, please. Okay. Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf. So we got spicy salmon inside this roll. We've got spicy jumbo lump crab on the top. Whoa. That's what Alana says. Whoa. Whoa, mom. Whoa. Right? You made that up? All right. All right. So I'm going to give you this one. Perfect. That's okay. exactly what I want. All right. All right. So now we got our. Beautiful. 
<laughs> okay, you figured it out? No, Which, yeah, I'm learning. Trick, I'm learning. learning, yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> we need the um, pork rinds. Oh, yeah, in a second. Now, I'm going to cut this one up. Oh, I meant to put crab on these. Shame on me. Yeah. So those weren't for me because you didn't fully do them. No, I just forgot. <laughs> I just forgot. Mm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put these together. It's crab. it's a it's a little process to do these. I think um, if you just well because we're do, doing the ultimate yeah, sushi rolls, but right. you can fill these up very simply. You don't have to top them the way that we're doing. You can just do the inside out rolls, put everything on the inside, roll them the way we rolled them, and then just top them off with sauces or dip them in soy sauce. You know. Well, no, I. But I, we're trying I, we're I'm trying not, to make yeah. those big fancy rolls that they make when you go to a sushi restaurant. Well, the presentation is lovely, my love. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this one. Hey, up. Ab, Ab, we're doing sushi rolls. Uh, yeah, we're doing sushi rolls with um, cauliflower rice and cucumber. Absolutely. Um, but in these sushi rolls, we have um, tuna, we have salmon, we have halibut. And our spicy mayo yeah. sauce is, um, is vegan. It's vegan. Our eel sauce mm -hmm. is vegan. It's pretty much tamari thickened with some zanzam gum. And this here. We just oh, let go, my yeah. love. I, wow. I, I mean. <laughs> so let's get some sauces here. Not too much of that for me, please. It's just a little droplet. Yeah. I don't know. If you guys like spice, that's fine. I love spice. But um, this sriracha has, I, I think, a lot of, for me, a lot of salt. So I don't, I stay away as much as possible from salt. For me. Okay. And then we've got our eel sauce. <clears throat> right here. <laughs> and then we've got some pork wine. You like that? Yes. <laughs> Abby says she likes the poster behind us. Thank you. <laughs> Bizarre. Do you want me to crush them for you or That's okay. help you with that? So we got some pork rinds here. These are small little. So guys, tell us your feedback. Let us know how you feel about today's ultimate sushi party. I Absolutely. mean, I know we covered a lot in this um, episode. Episode. It's gone over an hour. Okay. Let us know your favorite sushi roll. So let, us, let us know which is your favorite sushi roll. I think all of them are mine. Anything that has crab meat, I mean, these, these, these are just amazing to me. And the last touch is going to be our salmon roll, baby. Mmm, we still have one more roll. <laughs> Here's the last one. Here's the last one. Oh, okay. the salmon awesome. roll on top of this roll. Okay, good. Here's the last one. <laughs> and these guys right here, it's our amazing. The salmon roll, yes. It's our amazing. So, so far we did roll. the rainbow roll. Okay, rainbow it has roll. Crab, has tuna. Jumbo lump crab on the inside. It has tuna, salmon, crab, and halibut. And then we did the dragon roll which has shrimp champura avocado cucumbers the sauces you know the three sauces the spicy mayo eel, eel sauce and the sriracha sauce and then our last one was the volcano roll which is has crab salmon pork rinds and salmon roll amazing and as you can see i don't know if you can replay this again or if you're just joining us here we did a mayo a spicy mayo. We first did the mayo and then a vegan, uh, mayo. A vegan mayo at that too. Yes, vegan it is vegan. vegan. It is vegan. And then we added sriracha sauce to make it spicy. So there you go. All right. So are we ready to taste, baby? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nana, are you ready to taste? Yes. Come over her. Yes, we are ready. 
Now, if you guys enjoyed this video so far, if you love sushi, give us a video a like, all right? Smash that like button. We're about to taste our amazing sushi rolls. We're so excited. First, we have our dragon roll. My love just went through the ingredients. We have amazing jumbo lump crab on the inside. We've got tuna, halibut, and salmon on the top. All right, let's see, my love. <laughs> Which one you want? Tuna, salmon, halibut? Pick. I want... We start with this one. We're to taste Oh, okay. Long. Okay, so... Um, yes, pick. just... Pick let's one. do it. <laughs> let's just do it. <laughs> I'm going to go with the halibut. Mm. Mm. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. You can have a little bit of soy sauce to dip as well. We'll go amazing. Try this dragon roll. Shrimp tempura is my favorite. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay, and then mm. that one's uh, which one's this one? The dragon, dragon roll. The dragon roll. Okay. Mm. Mm, okay. mm. okay. Oh my god, that's really good. Guys, I do apologize. That is really good. Wow. The dragon roll. Whoa. Amazing. Mm. Shrimp tempura. Shrimp it's tempura. crispy. That's really good. And then this right here, my love, is our volcano roll with the cucumber wrap. Okay, let me um take a small one, baby. Just small, I promise. Mm -hmm. And it has sorry, we'll be we're a mess right here. A little bit. Like I said, this is the beauty of being live. This is our first time making these. So if we can do this, so can you. But I'm going to be honest with you. The flavors in all of these, baby, really good. Like? Yes. So, mm. I mean, I know it, it was like a little of a lengthy process because we tried to do a few of the sushi rolls and incorporate as much possible Absolutely. okay but um if you follow the this uh method that uh, jose just brought to us the the actual flavors you are might, amazing we, you might like you like the word sushi. you love the word amazing. amazing amazing you may not go out to eat sushi ever again because this right here whoo no it's really good Really it's, it was like, really good. I love it. Mm, I, I do love it. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you so baby. much for joining us. I know it took us a little bit longer than normal. What we like to keep it in our, our YouTube channel. We'd like to um, use, uh, uh, what is it? What, any comments there at the end? Everything looks amazing. Well, you know, that's Jose's favorite word. Everything is amazing, looks amazing, and it tastes amazing. So if you're going to go tonight and uh, uh, do sushi for your husband, do it. Do it. Send us pictures, okay? Absolutely. absolutely. Find that suki, uh, that sake, too. But, yeah, it doesn't only look amazing. It is uh, really delicious. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Have a beautiful Sunday. We'll see you back here next Sunday on Easter Sunday for a very special episode. Uh, if you make these recipes, please comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, yeah. And uh, thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful Sunday. We love you. Be beautiful. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Peace. Peace. <laughs> it's time to move on. That was pretty good. Bye.